I have Lois, her here. Uh, Lois has some news for us. Well, I'm absolutely delighted to remind people that Joe Pitts is not a good representative for the 16th Congressional District. And this is the time when I can run and defeat him because he is nothing but a Mr. No. No new ideas, no support for Obama, and no way of dealing with the kinds of global problems we have right now. Whereas Obama is coming forward with some really good things and we need support in Congress to make sure they happen. And that includes, you know, increasing support for things like the stimulus program, which in my hometown has enabled the railroad station remodeling thing to get underway. Uh, it's visible, it's going to be a very important thing, and we need more of those kinds of projects, and we need more of the positive thinking and this problem-solving thing that those of us who, who care about progressive issues can really pull about, pull out, and uh, Joe isn't doing it. Uh, Joe Pitts has voted no on almost every single piece of legislation this year, isn't that Absolutely. correct? Absolutely. He's not a friend of women, he's not a friend of labor, uh, he's not a friend of children. Most of the folks that we know. He voted against uh, the expansion of SCHIP? Absolutely. And he also has been of no help when we're talking about the loans for student loans and how the banks are getting a guaranteed rate and the kids are getting almost a guaranteed increase. And uh, Joe Pitts also supported all the deregulation of the financial industry. Isn't that correct? Of course he did. Uh, his money comes from big industry and big insurance and big pharma. Uh, my money will come from grassroots people like you and like other people so that we can really have a voice. So Joe Pitts has, uh, in Congress, been part of the problem and uh, against the solutions. Uh, is that a fair statement? Uh, absolutely. I find that it's not just that he votes no on the things, but he seems to have no ideas about how we can solve problems. Uh, one of the major uh, aspects of the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act, especially for South Central Pennsylvania, is high-speed rail. Absolutely. Uh, I've taken, I took the train to the Denver Convention last year and discovered firsthand how our trains could be very useful and very good, but they have been shortchanged over the years by the money that's gone into you know, the, the oil links and not into the rail links. And uh, Congressman Pitts voted against the AARRA, -R -R -A, which uh, fun is funding this uh, high-speed rail, didn't he? I believe he did. Yes, he did. Yeah, well, you could pretty well count. I mean, he's got a zero rating for most of the um, conservation issues, for most of the energy conservation issues. I mean, the energy company issues he's fine on, but the, the things we care about in terms of looking for the future of this country, for the working people in this country, he is not with us. And uh, Lois Her will be, won't you? Absolutely. Well, thank you, Lois.